Okay, hello there. Hi, I'm Dennis. Today we're going to walk through an arch base installation, but we're going to use a UEFI partition. Figure that sooner or later everybody's going to have to learn how to do that. Not much you can do about it, I don't think. Ten years from now, if people are still working with computers, they're going to be using UEFI. BIOS legacy, we're going to be a thing of the past. Although I think it's a lot easier. <laughs> and I hadn't really seen any benefit in the end result yet. But I'm not saying there's not. It might be a, some new machines will have a lot of difference. We're going to do the CF disk. And I'll show you how to format that partition. And we're going to partition it using GPT. First partition we're going to get is only going to be 512 megabytes. And that will be our EFI partition. And we'll go over to type. Select type. And go up near at the very top there it says EFI systems. And that's the one we're going to choose. Okay, next we're going to get swap. The rest of this, the partitioning, is actually the same as a regular uh, Arch install. I always think of partitioning hard drives as a big round house and we built a bunch of walls in that house filled it up with information got one more to go here and they're all default to linux file systems so that's good to go just to verify we'll just check it and i'll show you that you know even though it says it at the top up there we're going to write this out we have to type in yes There's the EFI system, 2 gig swap, 30 gig root, 20 gig home. Quit. Clear the screen. And what I'm going to do is I'm cut out of here. And when I come back with the pack strap, we'll be finished and it'll be time to install the grub. And that's the only. There's two places that we do things differently, and this is one of them right here. We're going to make a file system of FAT, space dash, capital F32 on device SDA1. But we are not going to mount that. That's it. We're done with that partition right now. When I come back, the rest of this is the same. We're going to make our swap. Format our SDA 3 and 4. Continue on. The rest of it up until we get to the grub is actually the same. I'm going to cut out of here in just a second here. And when I come back, we'll be ready to install grub. So we're going to finish up do our file system. See, the rest of this is normal. Up arrow, take the three out, put a four in its place, hit enter. Now we're ready to mount those partitions. Created a partition. We've created a file system within those partitions, and now we've got to mount them. Clear the screen so you can see a little better, hopefully. So now we're going to mount device SDA3, and that'll go to our mount. Which basically in Windows would be your C drive. Alright, now we've got to create a directory. MKDIR, MNT home. Now we're going to mount that partition. And we're about to be ready to start actually our install. Uh, we're going to we'll do something with my mirrors and then I'll do the pack strap and then we'll arch to root and all that. Now I'm finished. Everything's complete, but here is the difference. We're going to install Grub. And this is the second place that the install is different. Pacman-SYY just to sync the databases or update.
and now this is through we'll install grub but we're going to install a couple of other programs efi boot manager if you're going to be dual booting or you think there's any possibility that you may later you're going to want os hyphen prober we installed it in the beginning on DOS FS tools and M tools, but just to make sure, I'm going to preface this when needed and then include those in this command. So we got DOS FS tools and M tools, and I don't need the OS prober. I'll hit enter. It says it's already got the DOS FS tools and the M tools, which is great. So we're going to install the grub. And the EFI boot MGR. Now here's where it's different. Quite a bit different. Quite a bit different than I've seen other guides. But this is what worked for me. The other guides did not. So we're going to make a directory space slash boot cap slash capital EFI. Hit enter. Now we're going to mount that device, which is, if you'll remember, is SDA1. And we're going to mount it to slash boot slash capital EFI now we're going to run ls space slash boot slash capital EFI and that'll list anything if it's not there it'll it'll give you an argument saying the, the directory does not exist this is kind of a way of confirming that so now we're fixing to grub install this is different than the BIOS as well. Legacy BIOS install target equals x86 underscore 64 dash EFI lowercase space dash dash bootloader ID dash ID equals grub underscore UEFI and we're going to tell it to recheck by going hyphen hyphen recheck and it'll take a little longer but I'd much rather it recheck it and find out if it's right or if we have to run it again so be it make sure that's all spelled right in the right order and hit enter like I said this will take just a a little bit longer than normal for two reasons it's a different grub install and it's doing the recheck it will take a little longer oh yeah three reasons i guess because i am in a virtual box so i figure everybody's gonna have to learn how to do this sooner or later so i'm gonna put this video out on it and i'm gonna start working on it and keep it fresh in my mind as well on all my machines personally i use bios and legacy all but one laptop and this it's a dell laptop i changed it to uefi in the bios and put linux mint on it haven't had a problem out of it, it works just fine so now we're going to get back to the normal installation at this point so grub dash mk config c-o-n-f-i-g dash o for output and we're going to output it to boot grub grub cfg same as you normally would that's it we're through with the base installation we'll go ahead and exit and reboot so that we can get back into our freshly installed base that'll be it we're ready to put a desktop on it we unmount, get out of the full screen mode, and hit reboot, and boom, there's our grub. Apparently it's working. Didn't see no grub rescue. And here we are. Let me sign in with my username. Get back in full screen mode. That's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.